Thank you for the kind invitation. Uh, in the title page, uh, I would like to call your attention to a relatively little known uh, European document, the Bonn Declaration of Freedom on Scientific uh, uh, Declaration on Freedom of Scientific Research. Uh, freedom of scientific research uh, encompasses the right to freely define research questions, to choose and develop theories, gather empirical uh, material and employ sound academic research method, to question accepted wisdom and bring forward new ideas. It entails the right to share, disseminate and publish the results. The text is okay, but the means are uh, the media is not in our hands. I did uh, my career from solid earth uh, geophysics, then I worked in the research administration uh, of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, but already decades ago I wrote uh, environmental oriented papers, sorry for that, yes, and uh, and uh, when I retired two years ago, I started to concentrate on physics and uh, climate science. I published two papers together with the famous uh, solar physicist uh, Willy Soon and with other colleagues. And this second one has been quite uh, popular. And uh, I think, if I uh, estimate it correctly, four of the 23 co-authors are present uh, as lecturer at this uh, forum, Sebastian Luning. Nicolas Cafetta, Anna Elias, and, and me. And uh, Willy uh, soon received the invitation. He was not able to ask and, and asked me to, to tell uh, uh, anything I would like to tell. So it will be a little bit uh, broader. I would like than this uh, paper. Uh, I would like to tell some words about uh, the Hungarian situation in environmental and climate issues. We have a Hungarian EICA. Uh, it is a true civil organization and just uh, two months ago we held a conference uh, with four presentations. One of them was a, a state secretary of Hungary and the message of the meeting was that, was that uh, total subordination of energy policy to climate policy is irrational and wasteful. So, uh, okay. Uh, the overall situation in climate and energy issues in Hungary, there are, of course, conflicting views. There is a uh, bottom uh, the top uh, down uh, approach and there is a bottom up uh, approach and they are conflicting the first uh, one uh, is uh, the top down is quite ideology driven uh, while the second one the bottom up is uh, uh, prefers uh, to discuss well defined environmental uh, problems uh, in with the terms of the famous uh, english uh, philosopher roger scruton it can be called as ecophilia driven approach we have this uh, approach, uh, I think, uh, represent uh, quite uh, strongly in Hungary. Uh, uh, just one month ago, we had uh, the uh, World Conservation uh, Forum in hung Hungary, and uh, it demonstrated the strength of the ecophilia driven, I think, the normal approach, with the video presence of Naomi Seid, and without Greta Thunberg, and without the Greenpeace. So, uh, in this uh, paper, uh, today I would like to uh, talk a little bit about uh, ambiguities in basic, uh, very basic terms, scan distortions and tricks in climate science data, uh, some examples for Hungary uh, uh, in earth physics, and uh, I think I will not have time, I would like to reduce my uh, presentation, earth and man uh, relationship, it will be too philosophical now, and too late. So, uh, the environmental science has uh, definite goals uh, to learn how the natural world works, to understand how we as humans interact with the environment, to determine how we affect the environment, and to solve environmental problems. 
And, but uh, there is a very deep problem. The problem is uh, the, the, that the natural world is not the same as environment. And uh, the definition of the environment, especially the selection and classification of environmental problems, is not independent of human values and it is not independent of human interests. And uh, while environmental science uh, is influenced from the outside, natural scientists are not allowed to cross the border to our social scientists. Schuster bleibt by Dynam Leisten, they say us. Uh, and when we natural scientists reveal some systemic but hidden connections, we are discredited and stigmatized as conspiracy theory. But it is a fact that environmental science and its focus upon the whole climate change story has been formed since its birth by the same group of interest. Uh, in uh, 1905, the uh, US president, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, put uh, controls on uh, big corporations. Uh, it, uh, its name was the Square Deal. And uh, a little bit more, during a little bit more than 100 years, we arrived from the American Square Deal to the European Green Deal. Here you can find the, uh, the main steps forming are the environmental science and climate science and climate policy. And uh, almost every step you can find the same name, Maurice uh, Strong. He was the father of global environmental governance processes, uh, organized the first environmental congress and uh, followed not the politicians, but the street demonstrators. The street demonstrators were invited by him to Stockholm from Canada and Sweden. And uh, he founded the United Nations Environmental Program, father of the Rio uh, Convention, the United Nations Framework uh, Convention on uh, Climate uh, Change, uh, and the Kyoto Protocol, and so on and so on. He, he died in uh, uh, 2015. And uh, uh, what is uh, written there, it is from the uh, necrology uh, written about him and uh, celebrating him. So it is a fact. Uh, definitions of the term uh, climate. In the Greek, uh, cli clima, inclination slope, refers to the latitude zones from the equator to poles. The World Meteorological Organization emphasized the average uh, behavior of the climate at a certain uh, place. Uh, the American Meteorological Society uh, emphasizes uh, uh, its uh, uh, global system, so it is a global system, the, the climate. Uh, three years ago, a German scientist uh, collected a uh, lot of definitions uh, and he had a conclusion that is the lack of clear definition of uh, climate. And, uh, uh, a famous, uh, famous uh, hydrologist, Greek hydrologist, uh, went further. He uh, all analyzed the definitions and he uh, for, arrived to the conclusion that the current definitions of climate do not hide like its non-static uh, nature. There are some Hungarian physicists who introduced the concept of parallel states of climate. And they say we observe one single state at a given time instant among many, many possible states, uh, states but many other uh, uh, states uh, would be plausible. It can be uh, very uh, primitively illustrated by the end point of a triple pendulum. It, is a, it has a chaotic uh, behavior. This chaotic uh, behavior, mat in mathematical sense, and the spa, spa, space-time clusters you can see everywhere in a very ri wide range of uh, time and, uh, and uh, space uh, intervals. For the uh, weather uh, range, you can see here, uh, it is a very famous uh, uh, diagram, shows uh, uh, for one month uh, land and ocean and temperature departure, and you can see here the clusters. The uh, uh, blue means uh, colder, uh, red means uh, warmer, and uh, they are not randomly distributed, but uh, there, are, there is a systematic uh, change. In a uh, longer term, also, there are some uh, 
some uh, interrelations uh, in the form of so-called teleconnections. I did not know anything about them, so I made a primitive alphabetic order what I found in the scientific uh, literature, and I found this year uh, uh, paper by uh, Hans-Joachim uh, Ludeke, uh, about the main, uh, most important uh, teleconnections and showing, uh, showing its relation to the sunspot. But if you ask a meteorologist what uh, drives weather, uh, the usual answer is that uh, uh, so, uh, so they, uh, what is the source of, the, of these uh, teleconnections? The usual answer is weather drives weather. And I think it is a very questionable answer. Uh, fortunately, there exists a unique uh, time uh, series I found after Demetris uh, Kutsoyanis. Uh, he presented it uh, at a IUGG International Union of Geodesy and Geophysical meeting a few years ago. And uh, it is, uh, its significance is that it is not a proxy uh, data series, uh, proxy values, but measured values. The water level time series are near Nile, uh, near Cairo, uh, Egypt. And uh, what you can see, that uh, there is a long-term persistence in the data. The da this database is well analyzed uh, by Harold Edwin Hurst uh, uh, many years ago, and he, uh, it developed, uh, he developed a, a data analysis method and uh, defined a, component, a, a term which is called the Hurst exponent. The Hurst exponent is very popular in uh, economical databases, in many social issues, even exchange rates or energy prices. So for decades there is a, a one trend. One may think that uh, the, the uh, voter level of Nile uh, will uh, all the times uh, less and less and there is uh, some uh, uh, strange uh, change and uh, the, the same is happening now with the energy. Uh, speaking about uh, uh, Nile water level, Ruzmaikin and his, and his colleagues found in this uh, data uh, series 11 year, 88 years and a little bit more than 200 year periodicity and he gave a good explanation, quite acceptable explanation that solar activity modulates, uh, modulates uh, one of the teleconnections which is acting in the catchment area of the Nile and this leads to the uh, water level variation of the Nile. The whole uh, water level study is uh, now uh, under uh, uh, data series is under study in uh, Hungary now. Uh, okay. Uh, keeping uh, this eternal fluctuation in time and space uh, in mind, we understand better uh, Demetris Kutze on this, why he thinks that uh, climate change has no meaning. He told it re should remain where it exactly belongs uh, in the political vocabulary. Uh, but uh, anyway, those Hungarian physicists uh, say that uh, there are uh, the climate change can be scientifically defined as the evolution of snapshot attractors in the chaotic processes. But uh, this is uh, maybe too scientific. The central problem that in everyday uh, use, uh, the, uh, the definition of climate change is completely misused. The World, uh, World Meteorological Organization uh, defines uh, climate change uh, as the, uh, so it can be of uh, natural and anthropogenic origin. But at the same time, the United Nations Framework Convention Program, uh, 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 Framework Convention, uh, define the climate change, uh, that climate change means a change of climate which is attributed directly or indirectly to human activity and alters the composition of the global temperature and which is in addition to natural change variability observed are 
uh, over comparable time periods. What does it mean? It means that uh, any natural uh, forcings, possible forcings, are excluded, uh, discretized from the uh, definition of the climate change. For the IPCC, uh, it has a, a double me uh, dipping because uh, the IPCC uh, uh, applies correctly the VMO definition for scientists and the UNEP definition for policymakers. This is the reason why the public never knows what is meant actually under the expression, under the term climate change. And the second benefit uh, for this uh, mainstream direction that is very easy in, among such a conditions to attribute any climate change to anthropogenic CO2 emission. Uh, about uh, climate science data. The total solar irradiance and temperature are discussed very, uh, in a very detailed way in this paper I was talking about in the start, at the start of the presentation. It is a 70 pages long uh, paper and it reflects very well the different uh, viewpoints. And uh, also I would like to tell some words about the albedo because the albedo is as important as the total solar irradiance because the net sunlight at the surface is the product of the TSI uh, and one minus the albedo. And uh, also I would like to tell some interesting data from the 19th century from Hungary and uh, a recent Hungarian paper. So this is the uh, paper. It was uh, already uh, uh, discussed by uh, Anna Elias uh, yesterday. Uh, I would like to mention uh, the show the short history of the paper. So it was published in the journal in May. It uh, was released uh, by the publisher only on the day before the IPCC IR, uh, IR6 appeared. And uh, the next week, uh, uh, and in an American daily journal, we can uh, we could see this uh, the, the actual numbers of this uh, journal. Uh, daily newspaper, an article was written, he compared the IPCC report and this paper and we got, we enjoyed that censorship by the so-called climate feedback in the end of August and uh, 10 of September the leading co-authors wrote an open letter to climate feedback and it was published uh, again in the Epoch Times and, and in non-mainstream media everywhere in the world. And uh, to be sure that it, uh, the, the meaning of this paper should reach the the Hungarian public, the whole paper has already been published into Hungarian language and I think the story has not ended yet. So this is a, a figure about uh, this uh, publication, this is the IPCC view and this is the view of, the, of uh, this uh, paper. This is the temperature time series, one degree per uh, uh, centigrade per decade increase, this is the trend. And, but all uh, uh, meteorological stations, uh, both urban and rural uh, data are, are used. And in this paper, only the rural data are used. All the meteorological stations, which are uh, where uh, there is an airport or, or housing estate, uh, things like that, are excluded. And you can see that the trend is very different and the trend uh, reduces to 1.5 uh, centigrade per, per decade. And you can see some uh, dynamism in it. And uh, the IPCC says that sun and volcanoes do not play any role. And if you take into account uh, uh, the ACRIM satellite data, you can uh, find uh, such a, a time series for the uh, uh, TSI, TSI value, which reminds uh, to the uh, to this uh, time series. So, uh, depending on the uh, data you select, you can draw, arrive to any uh, conclusion. But considering all data correctly, the conclusion cannot be the same as the conclusion of the IPCC. Uh, about the albedo, uh, 
uh, uh, also in the Kutsoyanis uh, papers in the appendix, I found this astonishing figure. There are two satellite data systems to measure the albedo. A lot of money is spent uh, for the, to measure the albedo, and uh, Ceres and Merro. And you can see that uh, one of the databases show a decrease in the Earth's albedo. The second shows an increase. It is simply astonishing how less we know uh, about the albedo. By the way, Steve Kunin uh, uh, has, uh, they have a, a ground-based observatory by using the phenomenon of Earthshide, uh, but uh, we, do not, uh, we do not have time to go into that uh, details. And it also reflects somehow the uh, solar activity. Uh, this is a CO2, uh, CO2 paper I found uh, in a, uh, in a, in a, a medical doctor uh, at a medical doctor wrote uh, this uh, paper in 181881 uh, Josef uh, Fodor it is an almost uh, forgotten paper and you can see uh, they correctly corrected uh, the CO2 atmospheric concentration values, uh, not ppm, but 1000 values are, are given here. But nowadays, uh, uh, for the end of the eight, uh, 19th century, only those values are judged as correct, which are uh, lower than 300 uh, ppm. For example, uh, in uh, uh, Schulze, uh, uh, in Rostock, me uh, Rostock measure 292 ppm, but uh, in uh, uh, Klausenburg, uh, it is in Transylvania, Kolozsvár in Hungary, and Munich and Budapest, close to 400 ppm were uh, measured. And in Madrid, when, uh, okay, in Rostock the value was low, it was known by them, uh, Josef Fodor and his European colleagues, that uh, in a cold sea, the solubility of the CO2 is very high. So this is the reason why the uh, CO2 concentration is uh, less than 300 uh, ppm there and also in Lund and, and deep. Uh, uh, but in Madrid, uh, when the vegetation is weak and far from sea, at that time the characteristic uh, CO2 uh, value was uh, more than 500 uh, ppm. Uh, this paper is not mentioned, even the non-IPCC review uh, written by this uh, Beck uh, German uh, scientist uh, some 15 years ago. Uh, maybe some interesting things about the carbon pools, I can say. These values are from the IPCC reports. Uh, today and yesterday, uh, they were, uh, they, these data were mentioned. But in very recent Earth Science uh, paper, uh, they say that uh, <coughs> the Earth's mantle has enormous quantity of uh, of uh, carbon, only the diamond, the quantity of diamond this Earth's mantle is uh, 10,000 uh, gigaton. The, the petagram and the gigaton are the same quantities. There was a discussion about this, this uh, question. And uh, the, especially the outer core of the Earth uh, contains a lot of uh, uh, carbon. And uh, in the cooling, uh, uh, so, uh, in the cooling asthenosphere, it was written by a Hungarian uh, uh, group uh, just uh, two months uh, ago, uh, formation of pargazite, as it is a specific mineral, so there is a mineral factory at the depth of the, of the Earth, can easily lead to CO2 emission, not only uh, via uh, volcano, but uh, simply by, uh, via faults and, uh, and cracks and so on and so on. And uh, if uh, CO2 is... Uh, Produced, then thinking of volatile, the, its volatile, volatility, uh, I think that geodynamics might play a significant role in the carbon uh, budget. So uh, finally, uh, there is a, a question that uh, uh, if we compare two numbers, the carbon concentration in the solid earth is told to be between 600 ppm and 6000 ppm. It is a carbon uh, chondrite. Uh, the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere is, uh, let's say, uh, 420 uh, ppm. I would have a malicious question. Comparing the two values, what is the problem with the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere? 
Uh, from Earth physics, I would like to mention also two Hungarian papers, uh, then the, some uh, general approach and uh, the importance of ground-based geophysical observatories. This is the so, uh, Mishko, Ferenc Miskolc's uh, hypothesis. Uh, here you can find uh, the transmitted absorbed and upward and downward fluxes in uh, three regions. So he has experimental results based on his hard code software and old radio sound measurements. And uh, his theoretical results are as follows. The four loads are suggested to as theoretical results and these values satisfy all these uh, uh, loads. The atmospheric Kirchhoff law, uh, atmospheric Virial law, conservation of energy of atmospheric radiation and radiation balance law. It, uh, this hypothesis, it is a correct scientific hypothesis which needs, I think, new tests with new reliable uh, data. Bernd uh, Fleischmann, I think his approach was very similar uh, to partly to this, uh, to this approach. Uh, so, uh, another paper, uh, not very much uh, cited, uh, was published some five years ago, four years ago. Uh, Sabolj Barsa, unfortunately he died. He, uh, it's a very sound physical paper that radiative contribution of the greenhouse gas CO2 cannot be more than 21 persons. There is some error bars, of course. Uh, so there's uh, the interaction between the spheres uh, have much more in uh, much more not so they so so many there are so many interactions between the atmosphere the biosphere the cryosphere the hydrosphere ocean and land waters and the ge geosphere which should be taken into account from the inner earth to magnetosphere and between them you can the atmosphere the cryosphere the Krios, hydrosphere, everything. So, you, so I think uh, correctly the uh, Earth system should be written here. And uh, we have the Sun in central role, the heliosphere. Uh, in several papers, the uh, lectures there, uh, they were mentioned that it, uh, it is really has an important and central role. And uh, we have the solar system. It is a, a, a field of interest of uh, Nicola Scafetta, uh, for example, and the outer space are very important. So, uh, uh, what we can do, okay, I, uh, in the last uh, modific uh, modification, I deleted this uh, question, but if uh, it is shown, I, I explain you. Uh, uh, I met uh, a solar physicist at the Shore Balaton uh, this summer, and I asked him that uh, sun is the changing uh, star. You, solar physicist, why not address its consequences for the Earth's climate? And the answer is, unbelievable uh, was me. We do not deal with such inferior things as humanity. We are dedicated to solving universe scale problems. So it was a mainstream uh, solar physicist. Uh, not a... Okay. So, uh, what we can do uh, in order to understand this system, imaging of observed data is needed, and not only meteorological data. And imaging means mapping, transformation, and visualization, and let the data speak. Uh, with, 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 sorry, Berkut, Gus Berkut uh, spoke, uh, talked about it uh, just a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, I skip uh, because it is too complicated figure, just a, uh, an example from <coughs> Hungarian uh, a Hungarian geophysical observatory where we measure, uh, or my colleague, younger colleague, measure all the electromagnetic parameters since the introduction, uh, since the International Geophysical Year. That time, this observatory was uh, uh, established. Um, geomagnetism, earth currents, uh, atmospheric electrical potential gradient, and the Schumann resonance is an ionosphere related quantity. And you can see that from year to year, there are some systematic variation with needs explanation and atmospheric electric potential gradient time series there is a tendency and the tendency is broken and it's very interesting the tendency was broken hoppa 
the, 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 this is the correct place. I do not know what happened, this uh, symbol. This is the, due to the Chernobyl accident. So not only nature, but uh, anthropogenic uh, changes can be measured by using uh, such methods. I think uh, this will be my last uh, uh, slide uh, because of uh, lack of uh, time. And, uh, uh, the progress in climate science depends on progress in quantitative imaging of various phenomena in space and time. Uh, and uh, I would like to uh, to, to invite uh, to to uh, I, uh, a quote uh, from a former former. PhD student of Kirchhoff, Helmholtz and Bunsen, of course he's Hungarian, from Heidelberg from the uh, 19th century. No matter how much our physical theories evolve, however, they will always rely on assumptions that can no longer be proven. The real researcher knows he has to give up on learning about the ultimate causes of nature, but he is not discouraged like Faust, who demands an infinite reward for finite work, but moves forward relentlessly toward an attainable goal and finds joy in the research itself and in the results it exerts to promote the material well-being of mankind. Again, the material well-being of mankind. After all, we must rest assured that science does not necessarily give a true explanation of natural phenomena, but only leads closer to the limit where the elusive uh, begins. And uh, the name is Roland Oetvers, a famous Hungarian physicist. So, with other words, with modern words, uh, the real science, the true science, cannot settle it. Thank you for your attention. Ganz herzlichen Dank für diese interessanten Ausführungen und auch dafür, dass Sie die Zeit im Auge behalten haben. Und ich denke, es gibt jetzt doch dazu Kommentare oder Fragen. Ja. Uh, not a question, more of a comment. I was very pleased to see that you mentioned Maurice Strong. <clears throat> He's a very interesting character. Um, he can truly be described as the father of the uh, uh, modern uh, environmental movement. And he has his roots in the oil business in Alberta, Canada, with close connections to the Rockefeller uh, oil empire. So um, it can be claimed um, that big oil started the modern environmental movement. That's it. Thank you. I only mentioned the fact that it is a fact that his name uh, occurs at almost at every step. Weitere Fragen? Das war ja auch wieder kurz und knapp. Das kennen wir gar nicht. <laughs> so. Ah, yeah. Danke, danke, danke. Yeah. Uh, I think you and also the, the Mr. Uh, uh, mentioned with Maury Strong a very important point because you, you define the political frame with his name. <laughs> uh, I will give a, a very uh, impressive quote of him. I quote, Frankly, we make it to, to the point where the industrial states have to collapse to save the world. This is a political ag agenda, uh, and uh, I'm very pleased that you have the courage to mention this name and also the political frame. Thank you. Yes, I think he uh, told it in, uh, in Rio de Janeiro in 1990, 1992. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your speech. And my name is Lüdecke, and you have cited us. And you told in your paper that we would predict weather with weather. Uh, it's not quite true. Our drivers are the sun. Sun is not weather. And then the other drivers uh -huh. are ocean cycles. Yeah. Uh, it's also not weather. <laughs> it's only a little objection because you said, I told you, weather with weather. It's, it's not quite true. 
Yes, I made a mistake uh, in that sentence, I know, and I forgot to, to quote uh, uh, where this uh, weather drives, weather answer comes from. But I found it uh, uh, in a discussion about teleconnections. Uh, the, met, uh, the opinion of meteorologists uh, was uh, about uh, this mysterious behavior of teleconnections that weather drives weather, and it is not acceptable. I was very pleased to hear your talk, since it uh, went a bit above the atmosphere and gave us a sort of an eagle's view on things. There were very interesting other talks which were very specific to lots of data here and measurement there, and I think they are extremely important. But not only your, your slide where you went up and looked at all the various spheres which are involved and which very likely sum up a lot of works which we have heard from other uh, talkers today and so it let me step back a step and uh, let me see the big picture and perhaps that was so for other people too and that's why I want to thank you. Oh. Uh, much more uh, detailed, more geophysical approach was uh, shown by Niels Axel Murner some eight years ago. His name was mentioned uh, uh, in connection with the sea level uh, variation. Uh, but uh, may I found it too specific uh, to show because uh, it is a finite number of interaction which is mentioned in Murner paper. I think there is a... The, uh, what is... Uh, considered uh, cause can be impact uh, and vice versa. So you do not know. Uh, maybe the outer space gives some uh, signals. We cannot interact with uh, that. But uh, the atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, you do not uh, separate the cause and consequence. So that's why I did not show any uh, physical relationship. I, Uh, my name is Andreas Demick. Uh, about a question about your home country, do you think the situation there is much more free and better for scientists than in Germany? Uh, well, I, uh, I use my membership at the Academy to represent uh, true environmental science and uh, climate, uh, climate science, and it is not easy. Uh, but uh, uh, I am survive, uh, so I uh, would like to induce a scientific uh, debate at the, at the academy, which is not easy. Uh, scientists, as individual scientists, uh, uh, are on the, they understand uh, the, what is the science, but the, as the institutions, the institutions in Hungary are very much uh, depend on uh, European Union, but I think in general the situation, at least in energy, is much more, much more healthy in Hungary than in, uh, in Germany. In climate, uh, there are signs that, uh, 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 that something is not uh, okay with the mainstream uh, idea, but, uh, but the young generation is so, uh, how to say, uh, attracted by this uh, simplistic uh, views that uh, uh, it is uh, difficult to change the public opinion. Ja, dann sehe ich keine Wortmeldung mehr und dann bedanken wir uns ganz herzlich bei Ihnen und äh, ja, klatschen noch mal. Als nächstes geht es gleich weiter mit Dr. Götz Rubrecht. Dr. Rubrecht ist wissenschaftlicher Mitarbeiter am Kernphysikalischen Institut der TU Berlin und Abschluss, und Abschlusspromotion 2002 eben dort. Nach einem Inter